Kaya na, ngayon, lesson 9 na tayo, no, actual deformation. I think familiar na tayo dito sa dalawang terms na to, no? So, actual is uh, tulad lang ng, ng normal force or normal stress, di ba? Pag actual, yung force mo is uh, perpendicular to the cross-sectional cross area of your member. And then, uh, yung line of action ng uh, force mo is at the neutral axis. No? So, that's actual. Ang resulting stress ng actual, of course, is actual stress or normal. Stress. And then, uh, na-mention na yung deformation uh, sa previous uh, discussion natin on normal and shear strain. Deformation is the change in size and shape. So, ibig sabihin, actual deformation is caused by, yun, uh, meron kang normal force or actual force. And then, meron kang either elongation or contraction. So, yun, kasi yung resulting, uh, kasi normal. No? So, parang normal strain yung mangyayari no? na deformation. Okay, so that's actual deformation. But bago tayo mag-discuss sa sample problem, uh, discuss muna natin, of course, yung equation. No? Pero uh, dito yan galing no? sa stress and strain diagram. Okay, so stress-strain diagram is just the relationship bali ng stress tsaka strain. So iba-iba yung diagram per material. So iba yung stress-strain stress, uh, stress diagram ng uh, steel, iba din yung stress-strain diagram ng aluminum, for example. Pero yung behavior niya, uh, More or less, medyo kapariyo yung behavior nila. No? So, ang uh, analysis natin dito for uh, uh, for strength, for example, is uh, dito lang tayo sa uh, tinatawag natin na elastic behavior no? or yung uh, proportional limit. Kung saan yung stress tsaka strain natin is linear yung relationship. Okay? So, mas madali kasing mag-analyze dito sa part na to, no? So, madalas na ano, yung application ng mga design natin is yung ginagamit natin is ito pa, no? Yung behavior ng material natin is nasa elastic behavior pa lang. So, since linear, ang ginagamit natin dito na relationship ay yung tinatawag natin na Hooke's Law. Which, is, uh, which states that your stress is just uh, directly proportional with your strain, no? And then, yung proportionality constant natin is yung E or yung tinatawag natin na Modulus of elasticity or Young's modulus, which is, again, iba-iba uh, din yung value niya, depende sa material. So, mas mataas na modulus of elasticity yung steel kaysa aluminum, for example, kasi mas, yun nga, mas stronger naman sa tension yung steel natin com compared to aluminum. So, gano'n, no? Uh, again, ito ay linear na relationship kasi nga dito lang siya applicable sa, uh, dito sa, ano ba yung tawag dito? Dito lang sa part ng graph na ito, no? which is uh, the linear, na linear na part. Okay, okay so since uh, we know that stress is just P over A, so mapapansin nyo din dito yung stress natin is uh, P over A. Ibig sabihin, normal stress siya. No? So medyo magkasing kahulugan na lang din ngayon yung normal stress tsaka actual stress. Kasi pareho nung naman sila ng behavior. No? So P over A, and then alam natin yung strain is just the ratio of deformation. Uh, and uh, original length. So, sub substitute natin dito. So, meron na tayong equation ngayon ng axial deformation. So, this is axial deformation, which is equal to PL over AE. So, again, doon na siya applicable sa um, axial na direction ng force. No? So, axial stress, normal stress, yan. or meron kang ganun na um, setup ng problem. So, anyway, uh, magsusob naman tayo ng mga sample problems so para mas ma- ano, mas ma-expose kayo sa mga types ng problems na may axial deformation, okay? So, meron kasi tayong isang deformation pa, yung shearing deformation. Iba naman yung behavior niya, no? Uh, okay, so, sa so, sample problem na to, we have a steel rod. Ito bali yan, steel rod. Having a cross-sectional area of 300 uh, square millimeters and a length of 150 meters, which is uh, suspended vertically from one end and it supports a tensile load of 20 kN at the lower end. So, meron daw 20 kN dito. If the unit mass of steel is 7,850 kilograms per cubic meter, density yan, no? Kilogram per cubic meter. And uh, Young's modulus E is 200 times 10 to the 3 mega newton per square meter. That's, uh, that's just mega pascals, di ba? Mega newton per square meter. Find the total elongation of the rod. So, ngayon, uh, dahil sa bigat ng uh, steel rod, tsaka meron ka pang 20 kN na applied at the end, uh, anticipated, no? anticipated natin na masistretch yung steel rod natin downward. So, so yung uh, elongation na yun, yung pagka-stretch na yun, meron tayong dalawang uh, uh, causes, yeah? yung dalawang regions bakit. So, first, dahil dun sa weight. No? Medyo considerable kasi yung weight dito na 7,850 kg. So, mabigat kasi yung steel 
So, ibig sabihin na uh, may impact yung weight niya dun sa mismong uh, member. No? So, not like other members, for example, pag wood, tas maliit, hindi na. May, may mga times na ineneglect na natin yung weight. No? But for this case, na mabigat yung material natin, still, kailangan natin i-include. Okay? So, mayroong elongation na mangyayari because of the weight. And notice na ang weight natin is applied at the center of the member. No? So, uh, review ng ating static sa rigid bodies yung tinatawag natin na center of mass or center of weight. So, for a rectangular uh, shape, ito na, rectangular shape, ang center of mass natin or center of weight is nasa, nasa gitna. Okay? So, yung weight natin is applied at the center. Okay? And ito yung uh, resulting deformation due to the weight. Second is the deformation due to your applied load at the free end which is equal to 20 kN. Okay? So, ito naman yung resulting deformation ng ating uh, rad due to the 20 kN external load applied. Okay? So, unahin natin yung uh, weight. So, again, dito applied ang uh, weight natin sa center, no? which is uh, 75 meters from both uh, ends, no? sa top at bottom na end. And then, uh, una, since uh, we'll be dealing with forces, kunin muna natin yung weight. No? So, convert bali natin yung uh, density into unit weight. And then, from the unit weight, kukunin natin yung Weight, okay? So, weight is just uh, unit weight times volume, di ba? Kasi unit weight equals weight over volume. Therefore, pag kukunin na natin yung weight, equals unit weight times volume. And saan natin makukuha yung unit weight? Uh, mumultiply lang natin yung uh, density times the acceleration due to gravity, di ba? So, malala nyo yung unit weight, meron tayong equation na unit weight equals rho g or uh, unit weight equals density times g. So, ito na yun. No? Ito na yung unit weight, 7850 uh, times 9.81. Ang resulting um, unit nito is newton. Tapos, ito yung volume. No? So, volume is just length times the cross-sectional area. So, cross-sectional area natin is 300 uh, millimeter square times the length, which, which is 150. Total length yan, 150. Kasi buong... buong uh, volume yung kinukuha natin na weight no para sa buong member okay so itong 1000 dito is uh, para sa ano lang no uh, conversion factor so kailangan natin i-convert yung uh, since ito ay newton tapos meron tayong uh, actually ang newton natin dito is kilogram times m squared lang so meron tayong cubic meter pa sa ilalim so therefore ko convert natin yung millimeters para ito magiging uh, m cube makaka-cancel siya dito sa isa pang m cube So, yung millimeters, ko-convert natin sa meters. So, mag-divide tayo ng 1,000 squared kasi naka-squared yung millimeters. So, resulting um, unit nitong volume natin is cubic meter. So, makakancel sa dito sa cubic meter naman sa kabila. And then, itong kilogram, meter per second squared, yan, ito yan, magiging newton. So, resulting uh, unit natin is Newton na lang. So, ito bali yung equivalent na weight natin. 3,465.38 Newton or pwede rin 3.46 kilo Newton. So, medyo mabigat ngayong member natin. Okay. So, to solve for the deformation due to weight, uh, i-apply lang natin yung nakuha natin equation kanina na PL over AE. Since, ito nga, no? Uh, ito ay isang axial na uh, isang axial na case ng application ng force. Okay? Kasi dito yung cross-sectional area, tapos andun yung uh, direction ng ating force. So, P is uh, the weight. 3465.38 Newton. 75 naman yung L. Kasi, ito lang yung nahihila niya bali. No? Itong uh, length na to. Kasi dito siya nag-apply. Ibig sabihin, ito yung length na original na mahihila niya. Which is uh, equivalent to 75 meters. And then, uh, Dito sa lalim, meron tayong area na given, and then given din yung um, E, which is 200 times 10 to the 3 mega newton per uh, square meter. So, itong uh, mega newton per square meter, equivalent lang siya actually ng newton divided by mm square. So, parayo lang silang mega pascals. No? Ito mega pascals, ito naman mega pascals. So, ginawa lang natin to kasi para makancel yung mm dito. No? mm square, mm square. Tapos yung Newton, makakancel din dito sa Newton sa numerator. Uh, conventional kasi na yung deformation, dapat naka maliit na unit. No? So, millimeters or inch. Kaya, i-convert na natin yung uh, meters dito into millimeters. Okay? 
So, magmumultiply tayo ng 1,000 para mawala yung meters. Ang matitira na lang is millimeters. So, ito yung deformation ngayon due to your weight, 4.23 millimeters. Okay? So, ngayon naman, eh, isusolve natin yung deformation due to your 20 kilonewton na load. So, mas madali ito. No? So, given na yung P, which is uh, 20 kilonewton or 20,000 newtons. Ito naman yung length na mahihilan niya. No? Original na length na 150 meters. So, again, co-convert na natin para millimeters yung lalabas. Kasi yung dito, magkakansal lang naman. Yung newton, makakansal sa taas. So, ito yung A pa rin, cross-sectional area ng rad. And then, yun pa rin yung uh, E, 200 times 10 to the 3 megapascals. Ang resulting uh, deformation natin due to your load is 50 millimeters. Okay? So, pag uh, alamin natin yung uh, total elongation, uh, i-add up lang natin yung 50, tsaka yung nakuha kanina na 4.33. Ibig sabihin, ang total na elongation nito is uh, 54, 54.33 uh, millimeters. Okay? That's the total elongation sa rad natin. Okay? So, yun lang. No? Yan lang yung uh, dapat nating uh, remember pag axial deformation or axial deformation. <laughs> axial deformation, uh, axial deformation is just equal to PL over AE. So, yan lang talaga yung equation. So, lalabas yan sa verdict sana. So, yan. Uh, madali lang naman kabisaduhin. Uh, kabis kabisaduhin. Uh, PL over AE. So, yan ulit. No? Um, Salamat ulit na sa pagsama. So, pag may mga tanong ulit, uh, comment, and then PM, or ano na. And then, yun. See you ulit sa next na video natin. And thank you for watching.